that's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Osei, for organizing this day. And uh, what I'm going to talk today will be about a series of the works that I'm doing recently after my PhD, which uh, one of them is in contribution with Hussein. And uh, as it will be a general talk, so I'm not going to talk about the details of the proofs because some of them are technical and based on computations. So if someone is more interested, we can talk then about the details. Okay, so let's see what we are going to see today. First, I will introduce a modular space. We call it enhanced modular space that arises from uh, the work family. And then uh, we'll construct the unitor family of this modular space. And the important things will be the existence of the uh, a unique vector field on this modular space. Uh, as, you, uh, as you saw, the subject is about the uh, gauss manning connection in this case. It's a project introduced by Hossein. And uh, uh, OK, in my talk, you won't see too much about the hash theory, because I'm using hash theory uh, as, an tool, as a tool to uh, apply it for the works that we are going to do. And, uh, and the important object is the, this vector field that we, we have here. And uh, then we will see about the solutions and the properties, that, properties of this vector field. Before going to start, I just want to show the uh, main theorem. It, it may seem strange, and uh, I, I'll just sh show that, and then I will explain where is coming the statement of this theorem. The theorem says that uh, there exists a unique vector field on the modular space that we are going to construct and unique regular functions on this space such that this equation which involves the gauss manning connection here, this is the gauss manning connection on the, this family, satisfies this equation. Here we have a matrix and uh, alpha i's are global sections that in each point gives a basis of the Durham cohomology of the fibers of the family. So uh, why this statement and where it's coming from? So I'm going back to some historical backgrounds that are coming from the uh, Darbo alpha equation, the equation that were introduced by Darwin and then help them find its solutions in terms of logarithmic theta functions and also the work of uh, Ramanujan. Uh, there is another vector field or a system of ordinary differential equations that we see here. And Ramanujan found its solution in terms of Eisenstein series. I'm just going to explain it about the Ramanujan case because it is more similar to what we are going to do. Uh, I, I have to mention that the work uh, were done by Hossein, and he started with these works and then advanced it to the case of mirror quintic trifolds. So, uh, why this vector field and why the statement that we had? Uh, consider the universal family of this family of elliptic curves, they depend to three parameters, T1, T2, and T3, that this equation should hold for this 
for T, uh, 41, T2, T3, that doesn't satisfy this one, it will be smooth. And uh, Hossein found this global sections that satisfies their intersection form satisfies by intersection form in the cohomology, drum cohomology, I mean uh, the integral of, in general, if you have a, a variety of dimension n, In our case, it will be Calabio manifold. By intersection form, we mean this integral. So we prove that they satisfy this one. And uh, there exists a unique vector field that the Gaussman connection acts uh, composing with the vector field. Uh, we'll have this situation. If you remember the first statement, for n equals to one, our matrix will be in this state. And for n equals to two, our matrix in the equation that we saw will be, uh, let's see. Will be in the sorry uh, one minus one zero, and for n equals to three, it will be zero one zero 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 y zero 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 minus one. Just to remember the form of our matrix. So in the case of n equals to one we have in this way, as we see and I wrote here. So here, elliptic curves are one-dimensional Clavio manifolds. So such a statement holds. And the important thing is that the vector field uh, I'm denoting by RA uh, that comes from the Ramanujan. The Ramanujan vector field satisfies this equation here. I think uh, Hossein first applied it for the half and half and vector fields, and when he found the half and one, he even didn't know that it is the half and vector field. And then Etienne told him that the vector field is, if I am right, Hossein can verify or can, uh, yeah, verify. So, uh, what important things we have about the Ramanujan vector field. First of all, the solutions of the vector fields are given in terms of Eisenstein series. I mean, E2, E4, and E6 give a solution of the vector field that we had. And uh, as we know, E4 and E6 are uh, modular forms, and E2 is a quasi-modular form. I don't know if they need to be defined. By modular form, I mean a function from upper half plane, which is holomorphic, and satisfying this functional equation uh, where A, B, C, D belongs to SL to Z and and this k here, this k is called the weight of the modular form. And the third, 
that f is holomorphic in the infinity. So if for an x6 satisfies these conditions, but uh, e2 doesn't satisfy. It is, uh, it doesn't satisfy this one, but uh, we can find it in another way that it is the holomorphic part of a, a quasi-holomorphic modular form. So uh, E4 and E6 are modular forms. And the space of modular form is generated by E4 and E6. Why I'm talking about these facts? Uh, one of the ideas of the Gauss-Mann connection in this case, as Hossein uh, says, is to relate the, the vector field that I will find. Uh, the solution will, will be called the modular, Calabria modular forms. So the idea is somehow generalize the uh, classical modular forms uh, in the sense of the modularity of Calabria manifolds. I will explain more just a little bit more if you wait more, more, I will explain that. So another fact that we know about the Ramanujan vector field is that uh, if we take the, we write the Ramanujan vector field in this way that we have here, and we take this vector field and this constant vector field, then these three vector fields construct a copy of the SL2C, Lie algebra SL2C. Uh, again, if you uh, pay attention here, the solution T1 is E2, T2 is E4. The solution that we find, T1 is e, E2, T2 is E4. And T3 is E6. So what is the weight of E2? E2 is a cost modular form of weight 2. E4 is a modular form of weight 4. And E6 is a modular form of weight 6. And we can see that the vector field that we have here, that uh, if we consider in P, the weighted space, P246. It is the radial vector field, and the, these constants here are exactly the weight of the T1, T2, and T3. And if we go to the Gauss-Mann connection point of view, we can see that, okay, we had the vector, Ramanujan vector play in this way, and we find that H is given by, by this matrix, and F is given by this matrix. So, uh, all these facts motivates us to see if we can find the similar things for our vector field that we are finding. So what's the, the work family? Uh, if you consider this equation in uh, this polynomial of degree n, minus, uh, n plus 2 in Pn plus 1, its zeros will be a Calabria manifold. And then we let this finite group act in a canonical form on the elements of this variety. So uh, we construct the quotient space under this group action. And we desingularize that for any z in P1 minus 0, 1, and infinity, it can be singularized. So we will have another Calabria manifold. And uh, why we are working with this family? Because in the case n equals to 3, it is the famous mirror quintic. It gives the mirror quintic trifolds that were worked 
uh, were used by physicists and mathematicians also. And we will see some uh, interesting results that they had about that. So we are working on this family because of uh, computations that we, we will have. We can compute uh, the things that we want in a complete chart. So uh, the things that we need to know about this family, about this variety, x that from now we call it the uh, mirror variety, is that it's, uh, its middle drum cohomology, the dimension of it will be n plus one, and its Hodge numbers will be one where i and j equals two n. In other words, we have the Durham cohomology. Hmm? We have the its decomposition. And each of this space will be one dimensional. So here is what we are using the, somehow we are using the hash theory. Uh, on this family, we have a holomorphic N4, a global holomorphic N4 that satisfies this equation. By satisfying this equation, which is called the picard fox equation, I mean that here theta is this derivation that we have here, and uh, this period, all these periods here satisfy this equation. So uh, this one that we are using to find the Gauss-Mannin connection matrix that I'm sorry. Okay, uh, uh, we, we define the family, let's say P, from P minus 0, 1, infinity. So Z here is here. For any Z, we have P minus 1 of Z equals to XZ which each x is given in that way that we are explained, or it's singularization of this quotient space, okay? So, how we can use this, this equation? Uh, if we simplify this equation, what we find? We can find, uh, Uh, we can find, if we simplify that, we find uh, the n plus one derivation with respect to z equals to b zero of z plus b one of z. So, by using of this equation, uh, we know that we have the Gauss-Mannin connection of this family. Hmm? Ah. 
So uh, the Gauss mining connection, if we consider it, defined on this family. Okay, just let me. So, uh, I have eta here, and if I compose this one with the vector field ddz, I will have an application, linear application, on the relative drum homology. So, I have eta here, okay? And I'm going to define eta i equals to this gauss mann connection composed with this vector field with acts on at i minus one times. So, in this way, I will construct a frame that in any point gives a basis of the fiber. What I mean? I mean, By this definition, eta one of z eta m plus eta m plus one of z construct a basis of the round cohomology of x. And moreover, if we consider the if we consider the hash filtration here, this we this one will be F one F N N minus one. F zero if so n minus yeah which is exactly the Durham cohomology. So at of one belongs to this one at a two belongs to this one minus the FE and the same. Oh, and at eta m plus one belongs to this one minus F. So I have a basis which is, which uh, has this characterization and then using this equation that I have here, if I construct the, I apply this, the gauss mann connection, composed with this vector field to eta one, eta two, eta n plus one, I will have a matrix here. I'm composing the vector field with this. We will have more 
equation here. DDC. Yeah, yeah. I'm not using the logarithmic formula. I'm simplifying it that I'm just using this in this way. So it says eta one two eta two. So if I write it in the basis in the frame that we have. Eta one goes to eta two. So eta two goes to eta three. And the rest here. And we have this in this way. And the last one will be related with any of them by this equation. Or we, we will have here B0, B1, and B. Okay, so we have here n plus one times n plus one. And the important things for us is uh, computing this matrix, the gauss planning connection that in this way we can compute. So we can pro proceed with the, with the idea. And we can construct a modular space that we are calling it uh, enhanced modular space which is formed by a mirror variety and a basis of the Durham cohomology that satisfies these conditions. Each alpha i belongs to the hash filtration minus the previous one, as you say, as we had for the eta i's here, the condition that we had for eta i's. And it, uh, intersection for matrix is a constant matrix that we have here. This matrix is uh, the intersection form uh, is minus one uh, power n symmetric. So this phi will be symmetric in the case that n is even. All will be zero. But if in n is odd, it will be one, 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 minus one, minus one, minus one, and the rest zero. So, uh, if you remember, in the case of the Ramanujan. It was in the form, the intersection for matrix was in this form. Minus one. So. No, it was, yeah. So by constructing this modular space, now I'm going to the case n equals to three, which is the mirror quintic trifold and the important work of Hossein about this family was that he could uh, look at this family in another point of view and by constructing this enhanced modular space that I explained, he found out that T is seven dimensional and there exists a unique vector field that satisfies this equation. And I, as I wrote here, for n equals to three, our matrix will be in this form. And the important things about this construction is this function, why that he found here. He, he checked that this y exactly the Yukawa coupling that uh, Candelas de la Olsa, Green, and Parkes, they found the famous article that the Yukawa coupling function can be written in this form. If you write its Lambert series, then this coefficients, all the coefficients will be integers. And this coefficient here are counting the number of the rational curves of degree D in 
uh, Rashnikov of DVD in Jenny Quinty trifolds in P4. So uh, by seeing this fact about the mirror quintic and what we had about the Halfen and Ramanujan vector fields, uh, I decided to work and in my thesis, I did this statement for a general case of the uh, Calabio varieties. And then after that, we fixed just on the Dworkin family where we can do the computation. So we can find on the, on the enhanced modular space, we can find a unique vector field and unique uh, regular functions that satisfies this equation. And moreover, we find that y uh, times phi plus phi times transpose of y will be zero. And we can find the dimension of the space in this form. If you pay attention here, for any odd number and the, the next even number, the dimension is the same. In the case one and two, we have dimension three. In the case of three and four, we have dimension seven. So we believe that there will be a connection between them, but we have not discovered yet that one. And what we can say about the, this vector field? What we had about the Ramanujan vector field? The first thing was that the solution of the Ramanujan vector field were in terms of modular forms, or better, quasi-modular forms. So what we expected first that we, we should have such a good statement in this case. Unfortunately, we can't, we can did, uh, we could do that. We, we found the vector field in dimension n, in dimension one, in this way, and we could prove that a solution of this vector field is given by this, by these functions, that in the first one we have the theta function, in the second one we have Eisenstein series, and that in the third one we have the dedicated eta function. That this one and this one are modular forms, again, T2 here is quasi-modular forms. Uh, and uh, moreover, we, as we saw about the quintic, mirror quintics, they, they are counting the number of rational curves. And we expect that the numbers that we are finding, because all the solutions, if you write the Q expansion or Fourier series of the solutions, all the coefficients are integer. So we expect that they, they are counting some, some quantities. And in the case uh, T1, T1 that we have here, if you write as a Q expansion, we saw that this coefficient here are counting the number of the integer, con in integer solutions of this, this equation here. OK, it is, it's not difficult to count the number of this integer solution of this equation. It's it is easy, but uh, uh, at least it motivated us to continue more with this work. So in the case of n equals 2 also, we found the solutions. The vector field is, like, is given like this one. And the solutions, again, are given in terms of modular form, uh, modular form and quasi-modular forms. So but if we, we go for, uh, to the, also, uh, in the case n equals 2, also we have this uh, enumerative property. Another uh, t1, exactly. t1 here is the generating function of the, the odd divisor function. So uh, continuing this process, for uh, we could find solutions for n equals to 3, n equals to 4. But there the coefficient, the integers that uh, we found in the Q expansion, they are very big, and we couldn't relate them to the modular forms. So, uh, and in the case the, of the mirror quintic, uh, many of mathematicians try to relate them to modular forms, but, uh, but no one could until now to have a relation uh, 
in this case. So uh, what Hossein believes that we need another theory of modular forms with be, uh, that will be a generalization of the classical modular forms. And here we are calling the solutions of this vector field as a modular vector field and uh, we are trying to relate them to the modular forms. Another, another uh, property that we saw about the Ramanujan vector field was about the SL2C Li algebra. We found that the Ramanujan vector field The Ramanujan vector field together with this vector field and this constant vector field Here we had, if I am right, we had T1. This vector field construct SL2C. And we expected that we can find such a, such a property for the modular vector field that we are finding on the uh, space of, on the modular space of enhanced, on the enhanced modular space. So to, to this end, we, we are defining here this algebraic group, uh, which is all the matrices, uh, up, uh, upper triangular matrix that satisfy this condition. This phi here is exactly the phi that we define it here, we fix it here. And, uh, and we can find its Lie algebra, which is given, uh, again, is the space of upper triangular matrices that satisfy this equation. So for any element here, of this Lie algebra, we find a unique vector field again on the enhanced moduli space that satisfies this condition. The composition of the Gauss-Mann in connection with the vector field. This alpha is exactly this matrix, alpha one, alpha two. It satisfies its Gauss-Mann in connection matrix is given by transpose of the, this element that we are taking in the Lie algebra. And the proof is exactly the same as what uh, we do for the modular vector field. So we can relate this Lie algebra. We can, we can consider this Lie algebra as a subspace of the Lie algebra of vector fields of T. Hence. Uh, but if you see in the case of the Ramanujan, we have Ramanujan vector field as a vector in the Lie algebra we, that we are considering. But here, in this Lie algebra, all the matrices, all the matrices that we have here are constant matrices. So uh, we don't have the vector field, modular vector field R that we are considering yet in, in our Lie algebra. So the next step is that we are adding the, we are defining another Lie algebra that is generated by Lie of G union co, a union with the, our modular vector field. Uh, we are considering this one as a OT module. So by this, by this construction, we have another Lie algebra that it's coming, it's calling AMSY Lie algebra. It is another related to a work that Hossein did with uh, Alim, uh, Yao, the other one. I don't remember the name. Yeah. So uh, we have a Lie algebra and we need the 
to find the structure of this Lie algebra. We know the Lie bracket of the elements of G, Lie of G. And to determine the structure completely, we need to determine uh, the Lie bracket of any element of this one with R. And it is enough to find this one. It is enough to, to construct a basis for this one and then find the Lie bracket of any of the members of the basis of this one with R. And this is what I did in my last work. And I determined here, RG11, all these ones are, a, are constructing a basis of Lie of G, and then I can uh, give the Lie bracket in this way. So. But yet, uh, we need to find SL2C. Uh, why this is important for us? Uh, there are other works related with these vector fields, Halfman type vector fields, that the people of a uh, complex dynamical system that they did, and using SL2C to a study of dynamics of these vector fields and they prove that these vector fields are semi-complete in the sense that their solution are one valued. So in this direction, we try to relate this vector field, the modular vector field with the SL2C. So we find AMSY the algebra, and then by defining, by the basis that we found, by defining uh, the vector field H, in, in dimension n and dimension two, we are defining them different from dimension n uh, greater than or equals to three. By these definitions, we verified that the vector field, the modular vector field, together with other two vector fields, construct SL2C. So, as I told, the important things here were the weights that we had. If we are going to Tag, uh, we are going to tell that they are related to the modular forms or define a Calabria modular forms. We need to give them some weights. And another thing that the, 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 another motivation that comes here from this vector field that we find in the Ramanujan case, these vector fields, these coefficients give exactly the weight of the modular forms that we have. So, uh, I'm here giving some examples. Looking here, for n equals to one, our vector field will be in this way, h. And in the case of n equals to two, uh, n equals to three, our vector field h is in this way. It is somehow the radial vector field. And in general, uh, in general, this vector field H is in the form WI TI D, DTI to D. So if we attach to any TI, because our we will find our modular space in this way. Uh, C of T1, Td, modulus sum, sum some equations that we find here. So we can express our enhanced modular space in this way. So we can attach to any TI a weight by using of this vector field that we are defining here. We found here this WI 
will be exactly the degree of NETI. By this weight, if you look here, our vector field R will be of, uh, if we consider R as, under, uh, as a derivation, if we look R as a derivation on the space of regular functions, it will send any element quasi-homogeneous of degree k of degree k to an element of degree k plus 2. You count here. Huh? For example, in the case of T1, the weight of T1 is 1. So this one reduces 1. But here, we have 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 1, it gives 2. And it happens for this one and also this one. And we can check that for all the cases n equals to 1, 2, 3, and 4 we, that we found the vector field, it satisfies this one. It, uh, it, if we apply it on a quasi-homogeneous of degree k, it sends to have another function of degree k plus 2. And this is what exactly is happening for the modular forms. The derivation of a modular form, if you write it if you remember, the space of the modular forms is generated by E4 and E6. So using the Ramanujan vector field, the derivation is exactly this equation that we have here with, with respect to tau. Hmm? Yeah, because modular form doesn't have E2. It's not quasi-modular form, it's modular form. F belongs here. So, and as you can say, E2 appears in the expression. So derivation of a modular form is not a modular form necessary. It's a quasi-modular form. But we have another derivation, which is, uh, is known as Serre derivation or Ramanujan Serre derivation, that uh, applying, doing this derivation, we are subtracting some coefficients, uh, some, some multiples of E2. By this subtracting, we can eliminate all these factors of E2 that appears here. And then by this derivation, any modular forms go to another modular form. So, as I told, we expect such a property in the case of the, uh, these are my, is a work that it is in, in progress. And uh, here I'm proving that for any n, r is a derivation of degree two by these weights that we are attaching to any TI. And we can define another derivation in this way. And we verify that this derivation, if, if for, uh, for this construction, uh, the variable that is uh, doing the role of quasi-modular form E2, is T2. So if we eliminate from this space T2, any function here, see if the, this derivation acts over any function that is here, which where T2 is missed, it will go to another function here that uh, is of weight. See, if this one is of weight K, will be of weight K plus 1 k plus 2 and satisfies uh, all property that we had for 
Ramanujan ser derivation, and I'm calling this one the Ramanujan ser type derivation. So uh, we have enough evidences that we we believe what we are trying to do to relate this the solutions of this vector field to the modular vector uh, modular forms. It is working as we wish, and uh, I'm doing another work now. I'm relating this one to the ranking Cohen bracket, is another bracket that is defining on the modular forms, and here it is also working. I didn't put it in this work, in this talk, but it is exactly working, so I hope that we can generalize the uh, the classical modular form using this solution, and who knows what happened in the future. So uh, the references are basically the first one is my my thesis. The second one is with the uh, Hossein, where we find we work on the dework family and we find the vector field and the solutions. And the third one, which uh, I worked on the Lie algebra and found this SL2C. So if anyone is more interested, knows about the proofs or other things, we can talk later. And thank you.